One Demetrius McFarland did not hold back when he revealed to worshipers at Shiloh Baptist Church on September 14th that he contracted HIV in 2003 and discovered in 2008 he had AIDS. The church was very accepting of Reverend McFarland. They were willing to help him in any way possible. But once the pastor with 23 years of leadership started revealing more and more on the following Sundays, members and leaders say they realized McFarland had crossed the line. In a resolution read aloud at church, leaders shared and Pastor McFarland confirmed to us he admitted drug use, mishandling church funds, and what members say was the ultimate shocker described by church deacon Nathan Williams Jr. Of the church that he had knowingly engaged in adultery in the church building with female members of Shallow Missionary Baptist Church while knowing the heavy pain. This past Sunday, McFarland was removed as church pastor. Still, church members say some congregation members are afraid to come forward, and many are concerned. Who does this to people? And you're the leader. Who does this? I know a lady who is a member of the church who said she had slept with him and that she didn't want this to go public. And, um, you know, she's running out now trying to find out, you know, if, if there's anything wrong with her. And my heart goes out to her because she's been a wonderful, wonderful member of the church. Deacon Williams says in his 70 years at the church, this is the biggest scandal the church has ever experienced. Williams says leaders have obtained legal counsel and is now focused on moving the church forward. Our move is going to come directly from the council. We want peace and we want to do the right thing legally. You know, we're not looking to hurt him. We're looking to get the church back. That's our theme, get the church back. That's what we want to get the church back. But some members say they want justice. I believe that he should be uh, put on to go to court and, and let the judge decide if he should go to jail or not. And I spoke with Pastor McFarland on the phone after he made his announcement. He answered questions and confirmed everything he shared with his congregation. I also reached out to him again to get a comment after he was voted out as pastor on Sunday. However, he did not return my calls or my text messages. Montgomery police tell us transmitting a sexually transmitted disease is a Class C misdemeanor. At this time, no charges have been filed against Pastor McFarland. Deacon Williams and the members I spoke with on and off camera say they want to start the healing process and move forward with new leadership. Now, members are asking for prayers to lift up their church. Mark, Val? Certainly. Thanks a lot, Demetria. McFarland also holds the position of moderator with the Alabama Middle District Baptist Association, which includes 34 churches across the state. Now we reached out to the association leaders who say at this time there are no discussions to remove McFarland from his position. Right now on WSFA.com, you can find the full interviews from church members. Just look for this story. And of course, WSFA 12 News will continue to follow any developments concerning this story.